Well, we have some sprinkles this morning, Sunday morning. I got a, took those knives back to uh, the yacht this morning. And while I was on the road, I got a call. Actually, I got two calls. And a lady wanted two knives sharpened. One's a KitchenAid. One's a Showtime Chinese job. Well, I imagine the KitchenAid's a Chinese job too, but I don't know that. Anyway, I've already I polished them up, buffed them, and sharpened them. I'm going to take them back in about an hour. The other call was from a fellow who had a, a whole box of shuns. He had like a... Uh, it was a set of three and one slicer, an odd long slicer. And he wanted me to sharpen them. So I stopped by there and picked them up. I mean, looked at them. I said, man, I don't think I can get these any sharper. They had little high bevels on them. And I asked him what he used to sharpen them with. They were, uh, they were sharp. Don't get me wrong. They were nice and sharp. Other than the bevels being raised up some, uh, and, and the uh, size of the bevels were kind of rough looking, it, they were sharp. He said he bought a he bought a uh, electric diamond sharpener from Shun. He said it cost $100. He didn't say how long he'd had it. So I looked them up, and there's some on eBay for $70 to $80, some for $50, so I guess they're all the same. It looks like they have two two uh, two sets of diamonds, maybe 600 grit, maybe 1,000 grit. You pull through. So, quite a cool looking little sharpener. But I never I, I never even heard of it before. But it, it did a good job. Other than it was a little, you know, the, the, the diamonds, and maybe he only used the 600 stone, but it was quite adequate. Other than, like I said, he either ground one side more than he did the the left side was ground higher than the right. But overall, they were pretty nice. So I left them. I couldn't get them. I could have got them sharper, but and polished up some. But I told him, I, you know, for what I'm going to charge you, you got them done already. You're ready to go. So I left those nice shuns. They were pretty in a nice wooden box. You know how they come. Some of them anyway. All right, we got a beaver report. We got uh, I don't know if we got two or three reports from beaver. Two or three of my fellow. YouTubers have sighted him on the beach with his CTX spinning in in uh, San Diego or La Jolla. I think that's the beach that some of them saw him at. Let's go. Uh, let's go hook him up here. Stand by. I got some rubber mats I bought at uh, BJ's to stand on. Uh, they're I put three together. They're not very thick, but they're really soft if you put three together. You remember a uh, year last year, my buddy Mark Wright told me to buy this horse stall matting. Well, it ain't very soft, and it's about five inches thick. It's very heavy. My God, it, this is, I got them cut in little pieces, but they make a great truck liner. Nothing slides on them or anything. I use them, you know, at all the gun shows for a while. Until I got tired of lugging them in there, and my buddy Tracy bought some lightweight soft ones. Horse stall mats from Farm Supply. I got some. Uh, I've carried my little uh, homemade right-handed shaft buffer to the uh, to the farmers market yesterday, and I didn't use it for anything. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a slight modification in it. I'm going to move it to the right a little bit, get it centered on the plywood just about an inch more. I'm going to move this back about two inches and then I'm going to order one of those arbors or mandrels or arbors I guess they are. Double shafted mandrel with a pulley in the center. I'm going to put a pulley on here and the mandrel's got a pulley. I'm going to put that back there and I'm going to let it extend off the plywood about three or four inches. If you get my picture, I'm gonna put a two by six on top of this plywood, and the mandrel will be mounted on that, so it'll be free from any objects. And I'm gonna run it with a belt. And if I don't want to use it, I'll I'll have the thing maybe on a spring, on a hinge or something, be able to take the belt off 
and put my different doodad adapters that I have for this shaft on here and use my tray if I have to. That way I can eliminate this buffer here. I guess I could eliminate this buffer here. This is I carry both these buffers when I go to the show. This one is really coarse sizzle. I use that 4MAX black compound on. And I just use green buffing compound on this one. It's a Baldor 3500 RPM. It's nice, but you know, it's a little shade dangerous in some places. I could eliminate this and use that other one. I don't think I'm going to though, because I like these. This thing's here a shade messy. Stuff flies all around. You got that way of goggles. And I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it. But that's what, I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. Okay, that's it. Let's go check out Old Beaver. It's uh, supposed to be raining, like I said, today. Tide was low about an hour ago. I talked to them, uh, I, nobody I know went today. I'm sure somebody went. Nobody I know personally. Right this minute, anyway. What's up? What are you doing? You're this crit stick dog. Well, the first YouTube reply is from Glenn Bell, and he just says, "Hey, Max, tell Beaver thanks for his service from one Navy vet to another." Okay, I think I already said it to him about a half hour ago, Glenn. The second one is from Pro Cali Adventures. <laughs> said I was hunting La Jolla Friday morning. I see a guy in the distance in the lane. He says with a CTX. He says looks like Doc Beaver from Grave Digger Max Vids. And it was. Bro Cali Adventures. Let's see what else we got here. Stand by. This silver sniffer, he wants to know, so find out how Doc Beaver did on the West Coast beach this weekend. Find out how he did, let us know. I'm working on that my right now, my friend. And the other one is from Gregory M. Oh, this is about my knife stuff. It says, boy, oh boy, you have expanded your side gig. Nice job, old timer. See you later. <laughs> I'm on a diet. Doctor says I got too fat this winter. Sitting around not detecting. So I'm on a diet. He doesn't like my weight. What's my lose 50 or 60 pounds? Which is a good idea. I just hope it works. I'm trying to make it work. I lost 11 so far, but most of that was fluid. I had a lot of fluid. I guess from not de not detected. I at least had. He says I had 10 or 12 pounds of fluid, which is he gave me some pills to get rid of that. And I guess that's where the weight was, because I mean the extra weight. My legs were big. My lower legs, I should say, ankles, not are back to normal. But that's not why I wasn't spinning. I was just, I just found it out. My legs got tight, and I said, damn, I better go check this out. All right, stand by the map. <clears throat> I said, this is his first on AM low tide. He's at Hotel Del Corrado in the background. A junk pendant and a modern Navy button. This is the second hunt. I'll add the pictures. I don't know what kind of order they're going to come out in. He's at uh, La Jolla Shores, about five hours here. And he said he met a local hunter and his wife. Going back the day after busy in the AM, did better here in Coronado. Had several cookie coins. Local strange, oops, local strange agent dude was collecting large round stones, no idea why. He found two silver rings, a 1941 quarter, an undated nickel, and a broken button piece, and a lead pewter or something. And then he made another hunt, but he didn't, uh, I haven't got the results from that yet. He says, I love this job. Boss doesn't need me today. I'm heading back to La Jolla. So I don't have to report from that one yet. But I'll add the pictures in at the end of this video. No, I won't either. I'm just going to show them to you. We can do that right now. Like I said, I don't know what order they're going to be in. 
he says that's a uh, I guess that's the Java hotel in the background that's uh, one of his spins has the two silver rings some coins as a close up of the coins of that particular coin I should say there's the two silver rings and the nickel and quarter I presume that's them damn knives that's my boat all right beaver where are you stand by all right someplace that one's upside down sand dollars coins a lot of stuff that's a cool looking thing right now let's see if he's got a better picture of it that's a fossil of bones of some kind he said that's it okay that's the end of the beaver spin and just taking it easy i gotta go help chris in a minute we're gonna work in the garden if it don't rain on us we got a little garden that we've had on and off for the years my daughter wants to put, stick some stuff in there we got some little tomatoes and uh, not tomatoes what do you call them pickling cucumber plants we're gonna stick in there chris brought these some seeds I think they're big enough now to replant. Oh, should be. What little I know about planting. We're going to give it a try. Canyon's going to have some of them, and the lady next door is going to get some, and we're going to keep some. <laughs> this girl can collect a stick right here, buddy. She gets sticks. I pick up sticks three or four times a week. I don't know where she gets them from behind that there, I guess. And you talking about digging, I showed you the hole she's got right here. That was the first hole she dug when she got here. And she hasn't expanded it much. That one. Look at this. I don't know if she's chasing voles or, or what she's doing. That's the garden right there, or will be. Look at that hole. Steve McQueen would like that. She's trying to turn a light. She could turn right out under the fence right there. That goes deep too, man. You got them all along the fence here, but nothing like that one. This one here is getting kind of tight. I throw some bricks in that one. She's playing alligator now. Look at him. That's all she does all day long. If the jack comes outside, she aggravates the hell out of it. Chases him all around the yard. Bites his legs. I don't know how he puts up with it. He's talking out of it. Don't mess with me. Look. <laughs> Steals his ball. Look, she's a pain in the ass, Jack said. <laughs> but she's been for good for old Jack. I might be able to get her working in the garden. It's raining right now. Stick Queen, where are you going? Yeah, big old Jack. It's one of them beach planes that sell advertisements. Get into the ocean front. The land of Nala. Pizza. Is it a nice stick? Ha, 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 ha.